Okay, so with this problem, it says that calculate this boundary for zero component upon maturing three years from now. This means that we want to calculate this variable spot rate at year three. So now they're giving us all of these for forward rates, and we want to determine it from the information given here. So I'm going to write a timeline to make things a little bit more clear. So they're giving us scenarios maturing to four years. Now, another thing is just that we have to start from the beginning to build up to when we're able to find this pop rate at three. So the formal equation intertwined with the forward rate will always start with, well, let's start with this increment, right? It says that the forward rate from zero deferred zero, right? So occurring at time zero, there's a forward rate at 4%, which means that that forward rate is actually the spot rate of year, um, year one, which is 4%, right? So from this equation that we could form from here, we could do one plus S to the one times one plus F uh, to the uh, one two equals to one plus S two squared. Right? Why? Because this over here represents the spot rate at two, so one plus S two squared and then the forward rate occurring this year and then the spot rate occurring for this increment so we already have um our one year of uh, forward rate so now what we could do is we could solve so we know that spot rate is four percent so it's 1.04 here we also know that uh, deferred one year. So we know that from here, it represents deferred zero years. That's why 4% is here. There, That is why that is also the spot rate for year one. Now for here, this represents deferred only one year, right? Which means that this interest rate refers to here. So that's why over here, it's from the forward to one to two is 1.06, right? Now we wanna solve for spot rate for a uh, time two, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're gonna do 1.04 times 1.06, right? And then we're gonna do it to one and a half. And then minus month, right? So we're gonna get 4.995% as the spot rate for two, right? Which means that for the next chunk, we wanna be able to find spot rate three. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the formal equations to find, finally find spot rate at three. We're gonna set it equal to, um, the forward rate deferred two years now, right? Deferred two years, so from two to three. So it would be F from two to three, right? Times over here, one plus S to the two squared, right? So we already found that S to the two is 0 0.0499, so we, and we know that for two years, this is 1%. So it's going to be 1. And then the spot rate is. Squared, right? Now we're going to say equal to. To find the spot rate for 3. So we're going to solve this. We're going to do 1 squared 
times 1.08, 1.190. Then we're going to get rid of the cubed by square rooting one third, and then we'll do minus one. And I end up getting 0 0.0598, which is practically 5.98%, which is closest to answer 66.